What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action, spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color, playing as Isis. His name is Chemo, his opponent today. In the red color, playing as Poseidon, his name is Matrius. The map is Anatolia. This is game number two of the one day monthly, I think, is this monthly number three? Monthly number three for the Meta Plays tournament. Um, if you guys followed the first or second one, uh, I believe, spoilers, so mute for the next 15 seconds or so if you don't want the, the news. Um, the winner of the first two uh, were both chemo, so we'll see if we can make it a three-peat here. Uh, Anatolia is the map, and yeah, we got Poseidon Isis. This is, again, Isis has been known as the best god on this map for so long that there's potential that she's been dethroned. There's a lot of different strategy that Greek players, that Norse players, that Atlantean players have come up with to make this map bearable for themselves. And we'll see if this is something that Matrius is going to be delving into in this game. The 10 villager wood start here um, on, uh, we will like 4 villager food, 10 villager wood uh, is so, so strong that... I mean, it's it should be able to work. You should be able to get up at 5.15. You should have three docks, or four docks, sorry. Both sides of the map. 18 fishing ships. Um, Persian coming in. Everything good. Defending everything that the Isis player can do. Um, and then the big problems only arise in the middle of the game when they get uh, when they when they put their Migdol down on their town center, or in the middle of the map here, control all the gold mines, and then answers the eclipse and win the game. Um, so <laughs> that 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 is a that is a thing. So we see seven villagers onto wood. Then this villager comes over onto this side. Thing we've seen it all before. Um, this is sort of how the game goes. Oh, idle villager. Go and get, kind of get, let's see what Kimo is trying to do here. So Kimo goes four villagers food, um, five villagers wood, six villagers wood. I mean, I don't actually think that this is right from Kimo. I could be wrong. He is an Egyptian main at heart, but if you put this many villagers onto wood with Isis this early, um. You don't get up your temple fast enough to advance. Which means you advance like 5.45 or 6 minutes in, which is just way too late. Uh, it's better to get the temple up earlier, advance 5.15 or, or 5.30 at the very latest. Um, and have those fishing ships still pumping out as you're advancing rather than the other way around. The delay is like 15 seconds or something, I think, if you do it the other way around. If you go, uh, so the build that I think most of the ISIS mains do, and maybe Joe, if Joe's in the chat can correct me, is um, like four villagers food, four or five villagers wood, and that includes this villager over here, um, and then four villagers on gold, and then put more villagers onto wood. And that way you get your temple up, you get all your, your uh, docks up, and, and everything is hunky-dory fantastic. Uh, and, and you get a fast advance time and everything is good. Okay, so, but Matrius is just kind of doing everything right here. Ooh, only eight villagers on wood. He doesn't have any cheeky ones over here. A little bit, little bit surprising. Um, he's going to go up faster, it looks like. Though, he's going for a five minute. Looks like he is going for a five minute, this villager. Yeah, a little bit of idle villager time happens with this build order when you go on the goats. Um, so, now he moves over onto the wood and... And he can... Oh, he goes on to gold. Yep, fair enough. Get that mining camp up. Get going. Um, but this is definitely going to be a little bit short on the fish. So maybe Matrius can get some good damage done. So he's going for a little bit more aggressive. And Kimo, obviously, there's the temple up. And you can see 4.30, 5.30 here for Kimo. If this temple gets up, he could delete that villager and definitely garrison in advance there. But he's going for... There we go. He does get the, the 5.30. So it's not... It's not the worst thing in the world. How many fishing ships does he have out? Yeah, it's 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 essentially this is exactly the same um, as the standard build, except behind fifteen seconds. Anyways, let's see how we go. We've got nine villages on gold, so getting this many villages on gold this early, generally speaking, is to get the early purse scene, and maybe this is why Matrius comes out 
comes to the classical age faster. So another reason why you want to come to the classical age faster is because you get per scene faster. And if you've got, say, 12 fishing ships, per scene is worth an extra three fishing ships. So if you can get to the classical age faster and get per scene faster, it means more food. Better, even if your opponent gets out earlier, fishing ships a bit quicker. It all comes... It all works itself out in the end, but Chemo's throwing up all the docks. going to be nice and defensive. You should have six docks, so three docks on each side. This dock here is very, very nice, though, for Chemo. You definitely should get up another one on this location here. And then we see what happens here. So the, the beautiful thing about Isis on this map and what makes Isis so strong is prosperity. So uh, every Egyptian player can kind of do this early game build, get this many docks out, get this many fishing ships out. But the problem is... They never get enough gold to match the food. Um, when you get 800, you get 800 food really quickly here as Egyptian if you're not building any any sort of land units or getting a second town center or something. Uh, so the prosperity comes in really, really handy uh, in order to get to the heroic edge. We see the armory coming out. Village is going to be just piling onto the gold here, uh, and we do see some trireme out per scene, not out for Matrius yet. I'm genuinely. Confused and concerned for Matrius here because this is very, very different to say the very least. Did I, did I miss it? No. It's just not there. Did uh, did Chemo get it? Chemo's got it. So Chemo, Chemo can very happily just garrison um, like six of his fishing ships and still, or like three of his fishing ships and still have more fishing ships effectively than Matrius. Like, the damage you do from um, pushing your opponent off of fish on one location when your opponent has a person and you don't is just not worth it. Three fish, idle, no person. Fifteen fish, uh, you get... Uh, let, me, let me just do the math, quick math here. 30% extra fish. So it's about... It's about every three fish or three and a bit fish, you get an extra one fish. So if you've got 15 fishing ships gathering, that's approximately five so let's call it four fishing ship so if you go and knock off one of these locations then you get you you're, you're still only you're, you're still behind four fishing ships does that make sense shadowfax doesn't want to hear the math but i i know you guys love it when i do math cabinets do push in here and push out matrius off of the off of the water on this location and, and cabinets that these raiding cabinets are actually really really smart they Nobody really ever gets to use it because of 50% extra bonus damage against fishing ships. So this is the only bo real bonus that um, your cabinets get. So you can definitely come in and kill off those fishing ships much, much quicker. Uh, and we see some trireme coming back out. Going to push Chemo's uh, cabinets back. And there's the Prosperity. Very, very late. We see the, uh, the Nephthys coming in. I think normally... I think normally we see an 8.30 here. Uh, it's just a touch late, but is what it is. Um, and that's just build order stuff, I think. Uh, we see villagers moving forward, going to try and grab this town center here. I like this play here from, from Kimo. He can get this town center. Ancestors Eclipse, the uh, the Poseidon player's economy. Migdol's Stronghold again over here. Like one here, like on this location. One here over here, and then go for the gold staff. If that's the plan, then then that's that should be very, very difficult for Matrius to hold on to. And he's got the Hippolyta out. It's just not enough. Especially because there's three different locations or two different locations the Ancestors can run to. So if Hippolyta's here, you know, you can hit send Ancestors here into this location. There's the Balkan and a couple over here as well. And there's the Migdal Stronghold coming up. Jason and uh, Theseus coming in. The, uh, the Santa are going to harass just a little bit as the... Uh, Scorpion man going to come in. Should be able to kill this off. And both of the heroes are in here. So uh, I'm genuinely surprised we're not seeing Ancestors Eclipse onto the economy. Uh, it Right now, it will be so strong. And we see there's just so many Trireme out. We are seeing some war barges coming through for Chemo to hold on. We've got so many Trireme for Matrius. He's pushing through. Going to try and break through the, uh, the Leviathan here. Uh, these cabinets are not going to really be enough to hold on onto this location, but I'm not sure how much it matters. I mean, it probably won't matter uh, I, if uh, Chemo just goes for an Ancestor Eclipse. Even if Chemo kills the town center, I don't know how much that matters. 
Because Mattress can just kind of pretend like he's role-playing as Uranus against Priest Siege. And then just build all the units and defend this location over here. Um, and be fine. Because he's got so much of an economic advantage now from pushing through this this uh, this water over here. We've got Sultan 4, a quarry coming through for Chemo as well. Always loves getting his economic upgrades. Um, though, at this point, I don't think I would invest into quarry just yet. Just because of the... The necessity of dealing damage is is so vast, vast, and that 300 wood that he spent is a siege tower and a chariot archer. Uh, and right now he needs a siege tower and a chariot archer, um, and potentially some scorpion men. Uh, but he's gonna have to retreat back, and it's looking like Matrius is is gonna be in a really really good position here. We see some war barges here, nice micro from. Uh, from Matrius over here dodging those war barges essentially you just click back and forth with uh we have holding shift and, uh, and you can pick these off very very quickly uh, if your opponent doesn't notice what's going on there uh, and chariot archers are going to be going after the villagers here there's just so many units out for for Matrius right now he's at 130 pop and a lot of it is on the water but Kimo's at 82 pop he is making some spearmen now? It's not something that I would do. Elephant. Another Migdol. Elephant. Right now, Elephant would be so good. These Toxodes start getting value if you make spearmen, especially unupgraded spearmen. Yeah, these are just... These are these are baseline spearmen. So, against medium Hippocon and, and Toxodes, I just don't think this is the way to go. He's getting medium spearmen now. Before popping these out. Uh, not sure if it's going to work. See a third town center up. Matrius sneaking his own third town center here. He's going to be trying to cut the map off a little bit like down this way, which is actually going to be pretty good for him. Excuse me. I seem to sneeze. And now Matrius can push in. The spearman popped out. There's not that many chariots. The village is going to start falling. Matrius, I don't think he can. He cares that there's a Migdol here at this point. If he can kill off a couple of villages, it's worth. The Polo, they're coming in as well. It's going really, really good for Matrius. Uh, there's still Ancestor's Eclipse. It may even be worth it to use Ancestor's Eclipse on this location here. Just to, like, um, stabilize a little bit. And then, uh, and then throw down a Migdol over here and try and cut off Matrius' base. And look at this. Look at this building span for Matrius. That's nine buildings. Is it three militia a building? 27 militia if they all die. It's a lot. It's a lot. But still, like, nice harass here from Matrius. Moving in and out, just making life difficult for Kimo, keeping the APM up, distracting so he can't really do all too much. You see the fairy now empowering the siege works. We all know that Isis falls off. Isis, Isis is one of those powerhouse gods uh, from 1.03 that just lost all its power um, in the Voodoo Balance patches. And and because Isis falls off, you have to get that damage done early. And now this big push coming from Atreus is going to kill even more villagers here. And the gold mines, there's a decent gold mine over here. There's a good gold mine over here for, for Chemo. So he also really doesn't need villagers on this gold mine. So... Losing them, not losing them, but pulling them off would have been an idea to come over to the top. We already see some walls coming up as Matrius is considering to start his trade route here. Classic Matrius market would be to go here. Um, so he's setting that one up nice and early. I love that he trucks the walls up before the market, something that definitely should start doing. Oh, and I love this from Matrius as well. He's just coming through this location, throwing stables down, trying to cut off the main base of Kimo from the forward base here. Um, chariot archers trying to run around the town center, dodging those who are allowing the town center to do some damage. But Aphrodite is on the way. There is no monument on this location just yet. All those chariot archers do end up falling here. Lots of units in these barracks here. As we see heavy spearmen coming through. Uh, Matrius has his sights set onto these villages here. Maybe a curse onto these villages wouldn't be a bad idea. You see 65 villages for chemo and 80 villages. So keeping them low is going to be huge. And Matrius is going to be able to go straight to the Mythic Age. He is playing this one incredibly well so far. As we see the mercenary pushing through those spearmen, taking down these Hippocon. And the chariot archers going to pick off the Toxodes. 
Uh, Sakima manages to hold on in this location here. There is still a possible curse that can come down. Sultan 4, Fortified Town Centers, Heavy Archers, Heavy Cavalry coming through for Mantra. So not deciding to go straight to the Heroic Age. Instead of deciding for all of that juicy, juicy tech uh, and getting that gold income a little bit later, I'm surprised to see him not come in with uh, Quarry uh, straight away as well, given the resource situation here. Maybe Heavy Archer is not as worth as Quarry or at this stage, but... Nimian Lion uh, is going to be able to do a lot of damage. Uh, and I wonder, he's got a couple of villages on the temple, so I wonder if that's going to be simply just for Spirited Charge, or if he's going to start maybe trying to make some Nimian Lions and make a, a Heroic Age out of this game. Uh, we do see these Siege Towers coming through to take down these stables, but this is exactly what Mattress wants. It's only two militia coming out of these, uh, these buildings. My math was wrong. Uh, but these, these Siege Towers, this is just value for, for Matrius here. And Hephaestus is on the way, Fortified Town Centers as well. Every time you kill off these these stables, it's just, you, you lose you lose Siege Towers. Um, so he may have killed off two, see, uh, he may have killed off two Siege Towers, but, sorry, two stables, but he's lost almost, almost one Siege Tower, which is worth more than two stables. And now, the Nemean Lion coming in, I'm gonna hit these, uh, these Chariot Archers. And some strong damage over here. Uh, at this point, there's still Answers as Eclipse and holding on to... Like, Kimo's in a decent position here, actually. But holding on to Answers as Eclipse, it just gets weaker and weaker as the game comes on. Uh, because it means Atlanta comes out and Polyphemus comes out in the end. And if Polyphemus is out, then that's... Answers as Eclipse is completely useless. Because uh, he'll one-hit everything, basically. Um, and uh, Atlanta out as well is going to help out a ton against it. And now we're seeing Kimo slowly make his way over here. So he answers the clips to get control of this location. Probably be a decent idea. So we'll see if he's going to be able to make it happen. We see the Monument to the Priest is up. Really smart Monument over here to block Earthquake. Uh, but Earthquake is not on the way as Hephaestus is the God of Choice. Uh, and there's the answers the clips coming down uh, just before the Mythic Age of... Um, of Matrius comes in, so it's going to do a little, uh, a little decent amount of damage. Himo, decent population here. Uh, Siege Towers over here need to make a, their move over onto this location here, and he definitely should just bring these ancestors down to try and take down the villages and take down this town center. If he can kill this town center, he's in a fantastic position to win the game. Now the minions will take down these. These Hippocons, uh, uh, Kimo's actually in a fairly decent position. He's going Osiris. Uh, a wall right here, following with Catapult onto the town center would be uh, a really, really smart continuation from this. There is the Fortress, which means that Heliopolis are out, but Kimo has already started to make Spearmen at this point. So, honestly, decent position here. And he's got a lot of monuments, so Mummies coming out to pick off these Colossus is going to be completely fine as well. We do see Forge of Olympus, Champion, Cavalry, and the Carpenters coming through for Matrius, though. So all of the tech is in, and both players just happily fishing at this point as well. So the economy is kind of through the roof for both players in this situation here. Um, Jared Arch is doing some good damage, but the, these are champion Hippocons now. They're very difficult to deal with for Isis because you don't get access to Hathor. Um, you could think about trying Camelry, but I think champion Spearman is just the way to go um, to start with. Uh, and maybe some uh, some mummies as well to, to back it up so they can snipe some of those strong uh, Strom Hi Hippocon now. Now Son of Osiris is in. Uh, but he didn't throw up that wall over here. This wall here was vital. And now we're seeing Matrius has cut Kimo's trade off as well. Kimo can throw up a market here and be completely fine. He's throwing it up in the safest position possible. Uh, comes up here. And this is classic Kimo. Um, Going to be very tough to stop that trade route, harass that trade route. But still no walls up for Kimo. Very strange to see that. He's normally uh, throwing them up very, very quickly here. Uh, so. Such is life. And now the Siege Towers pushing forward. We need to get that mummy. It needs to be back. Can't be throwing away the mummy. Oh, but he gets the one hit off. No. He just misses it. The Son of Osiris is enough to take down a Colossus. Um, there is a Siege Tower here he can garrison into, so... The, the uh, Son of Stars is safe, but he's going to fall out of the Siege Tower. There is another Siege Tower he can run to, but he's just going to be making that that dart backwards. 
and he should be totally fine here as Akimo is holding on. But the Militia, the Militia are just so strong in this situation. They're just doing so much damage and Akimo hasn't really started up his trade route yet, so he can't really start the Mercenary spam just yet. Uh, but the Son of Osiris is helping a lot to hold on over here. Polyphemus taking down the Migdol Stronghold. We don't have Masons. We don't have Carf uh, Masons or Architects here. Uh, Fortified Town Centers is obviously in, but that doesn't help out the Migdols at all. And now we're seeing the Son of Osiris getting even more damage taken. Nice micro there from Kimo to hang on there. Matrius still not making any like real attempt over here, but he is moving forward. Going to start grabbing these... Uh, these uh, deer down the bottom of the map. We see the Colossus over here. I'm going to attempt to stay alive for as long as possible. But what is Kimo's favor doing? 52 favor. He does have the three monuments. And I do genuinely think that mummies are a must uh, against the Hippocon and towers are a must as well at this point. These Hippocon are going to get so strong. Uh, Kimo's only got bronze, oh, uh, sorry, copper armor to Matrius's bronze armor so it's a whole line of armor upgrades above for Matrius and Matrius is just slowly but surely taking uh Migdol's down we see another Migdol coming up for Kimo but he's got none for the moment only two barracks up <coughs> excuse me only two barracks up for Kimo as well and he's just not <coughs> set up to be losing buildings like this um, but this will come up. This Son of Osiris is falling, and Kimo is at 141 of 146. Oh, sorry, of 169 population. And does he have a Pharaoh on this? He doesn't have a Pharaoh on this really, really weak trade route either. So he doesn't get that boosted gold for being uh, for playing Egyptian. And and Matrius has even started up his. He's he's taken he's taken the Mickey here. Look at this. A whole straight screen length from the edge of the map. Shake my head. And these Charidars just get completely cleaned by champion Hippocons at this point in the game. If you don't have... So the answer to the Hippocons at this start, stage of the game for Isis is just Towers. Towers is the only option. But if you make the Towers, you wall up, these Charidars just start becoming very, very useful behind the walls, behind the Towers. Hippocons stop. Um, the answer then for Matrius is to go into... Uh, his own towers with with Heliopolis, Toxodes, etc., etc., etc. But there is Scorpion Man, but Scorpion Man at, at like earlier in the game, Scorpion Man, great, fantastic. At this stage of the game, armor starts becoming a thing. Look, they got twenty seven percent hack armor. They do, they do fifteen damage. It's not like they're not doing that much damage to the Scorpion Man, but he will have to retreat with the Chariot Archers um, dealing damage from afar here. Now the Hippocon coming in. Siege Tower is going to be taking down the town center. Oh, and oh, I love this from Mattress. He moves in first. And Kimo's not paying attention. He's losing so much HP on that side of Osiris. Goes down to 56 HP there. This is going to be very, very difficult for Kimo to make work. Um, and we see the stables coming up here in this location. This is so obnoxious because this is just Hippocon just keep piling in onto this spot. And, and Matrius doesn't really care about the kill loss at this point. He's got map control. He's got all the economic upgrades. He's almost got all the armory upgrades as Iron Shields, the last one, is coming in. So economic it doesn't matter if he's losing units as long as he stays popped it, it like it doesn't put him behind so you can just force chemo in onto this location while he slowly pushes buildings in onto this location just spamming stables everywhere 85 wood stables is nothing at this stage of the game and you can see Matrius with 500 wood in the bank and these camel caravans will start getting just trapped in here on these small uh on these like these small choke points as well. So really smart positioning here. We do see a Migdol Stronghold coming up. Uh, and, and this is just another reason. Why, so why hasn't Kimo thrown walls up here? This is very un -Kimo like um, And we do see the Son of Osiris is back out. We're doing a little bit of damage for empowering that uh, fortified town center back up. We see the fortress coming up for Matrius here as Hatiroi coming in the chariot archers are gonna push off that fortress at this point uh and we see mattress move over here onto this fortress a, a couple of heliopolis just kind of chilling idle in the bushes just trying to make themselves uh, seem like they're uh back where they came from right heliopolis are built with wood
and they want to go back to the forest and hang out. So of Osiris still just hanging by the town center. I, I like the 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 way that Kimo is using this low HP son of Osiris. He's really really smart. Keep him alive. Keep him next to the town center. Jump him out if he attacks. If he notices he's getting attacked, just garrison. Really, really smart way to hold on here. Uh, and these are uh, Hippocon still coming in onto this. And, and I'm pretty sure one bat bash onto these uh, camel caravans completely removes their. If they have no. Um, if they have no. What's it called? Coins? If they've got no gold in their back, one bash onto it means that they're complete. Gold was, is reset, so it does a lot of damage if you go around microing onto that. And now the uh, mercenary cavalry is starting to come out. Matrius is going to just start making his towers to compete with that one on this location. Son of Osiris popping back out again. We do see uh, Levy coming through for Chemo, speeding up those spearmen. Not a technology you see very often, but obviously Chemo strapped for gold, strapped for buildings. He's going to want to try and get those out as fast as possible, but... With a Spearman, 10%, is it 10%? 20% reduction on the Spearman is just one second. So you'll get one Spearman out faster. So this will pay for itself in 20 seconds. No, in 20 Spearman. This will pay for itself in 20 Spearman in terms of time. So there you go. More math, more math. You see the Heliopolis will start taking this down. Another Colossus coming in. No mummies out to deal with this. We do have the Son of Osiris, but it's slowly getting chipped away out by the Theseus here. Though the Theseus will fall, but so will the Son of Osiris. The Tyroi coming in to finish this one off as well. Hannibal Barker must be proud to see those getting genuinely used in a game. Uh, and Matrius is looking like he's going to be able to control this town center as well with all the fortresses in this location finishing off the final gold mine on the map a beautiful setup trade route with the the most ugly market you've ever seen but he, he's only got 20 camel caravans or donkey caravans here he probably wants to go up a little bit more considering how much he's spending um, but he's actually he's got another gold mine here so he's completely fine for another 3,000 gold uh, and now he can just move in and grab this town center. Uh, generally speaking, just put up a couple of towers here and then get the town center. That way you're never going to be losing it. But it seems like Matrius is more than happy to just go for the go for the town center because he's got ceasefire. Grabbing the fourth town center, going to be going up to 180 population. Chemo, only real answer that he has now in this situation is going to be wonder. That's the only thing he can do in this situation. He's got 35 favor in the bank. It looks like that's not enough to build the wonder. Golden Apple's coming through for Mattress as he realizes that potentially that's the only thing that Kimo can do. And I think that the wonder race wins for... Is it, does it win for Poseidon if he's got... I don't think he's got divine blood. He doesn't have divine blood, so it won't matter. 20% uh, build rate versus the Pharaoh Empowerment which is, uh, it's more than 20%, right? 75% build rate, so it's not even close. <laughs> well, uh, so there is a potential wonder victory here, or wonder out for Chemo, uh, though holding holding with the two town centers, no walls up, no towers up, stables just appearing everywhere. We do see iron weapons, new kingdom, signal fires, engineers, guard towers coming for, for Chemo. So he's spending all his resources, coinage, draft horses, champion archers for Matrius. Town center is up for Matrius here. And now the Hippocon coming through. We see the Hatiroi coming in, going to take down this Migdol stronghold. Alrighty, and it's just a kind of a matter of time here for Matrius. Uh, he's he's already set up in the base of of Chemo with all these stables. We do see some walls coming up over here. Potentially, Chemo can sneak a catapult or two into this location. Though there are stables everywhere, so he's gonna have to wall here, wall wall in front of here. And we see a Pharaoh coming in to try and get this guard tower up as well. Uh, and there's the, the Migdol falling. And Chemo trying to get some stuff up. We do see some catapult coming out. But still no walls up here just yet. 
uh, as the guard towers will come through. The catapults are going to start making their way in onto this location, but there's already a Polyphemus queued up. There's already a Polyphemus queued up, and he's actually got the, the attack from over here. He got the attack already, so this is actually maybe a little bit... Um, Difficulty here for Matrius to deal with though. We, we've got some uh, Hitairo coming in on the back and on the front is the problem here This location here potentially going to go down very soon divine blood on the way as well for Matrius Which is going to cause a lot of chaos for uh, For chemo because those stables will shoot up so very very quickly now Ballister tower is up uh, as we see the Polyphemus coming going to be able to take down the Ballister tower very very quickly But it looks like he's targeting down the uh the Pharaoh first, very smart to do so. Those catapults do look like they will take down the town center, but Matrius still has the town center advantage, trying to take down this hometown center. Seven, a Tyroi coming after this one. Surprised to see him not go after this town center, but obviously this shuts down the gold for the time being. Spearman moving in onto this location. Matrius needs to make a decision here. How does he going to prevent Chemo from getting this location? We see more towers coming up here for Chemo. Uh, Stable over here going to try and get taken down. These donkey caravans, the trade route for Matrius is getting completely uh, denied here. And Matrius is going to be running out of gold as well. He's only got, well, he's got 1,200 gold in the bank. So he's got a good amount of gold in the bank, but he will have to swap this trade route somewhere else. There's no, well, there is a market here, so he can easily delete this uh, and have that market coming up onto this location and be completely fine and safe and maybe throw up a market over here as well if he so chooses. We see the Tyro now coming up onto this top town center. chemo has got a lot of gold in the bank as well. He's lost a lot of houses. This town center is down and this will go down as well. This gold colossus, not gold colossus, this colossus here just does so much damage. The uh, Tyro does so much damage. We do see a Pharaoh in uh, here to help out. So it looks like the colossus are not going to be enough. This location not going to go down just yet. It looks like as the mercenary infantry come through town center trying to come back out we see some uh, heliopolis coming through though there are a couple of spearmen here so they do a ton of damage to the heliopolis here villages falling in this location uh, at this point here uh, and his villages have found another gold mine so it doesn't even matter that he's running out of gold uh, and his trade routes kind of been a little bit neutered here see the uh, catapult over here going to get cleaned up by the militia these villagers kind of sitting idle but as soon as you pick off that fortress it's just like that's that's so many militia and is, does he have upgrades on this he doesn't even have the line upgrades for the militia these are just full iron hoplites unupgraded hoplites so if you don't know medium infantry heavy infantry champion infantry all affect militia they are considered infantry units so, you should get them. I'm seeing this town center. I don't think this town center is going to go down to the Tyroi spam anymore, but he's managed to prevent Chemo from getting this town center back. Uh, though the catapult will well, actually not even going to take down the fortress as more fortresses are coming up. Just on the front, more towers coming up. The Tyroi going from one place to another. The spearmen are all out, but. I mean, it's just like they're 5.5 speed versus 5.28 speed uh, with that spirit of charge. So they can kind of just run away. And Chemo in the 30th minute of this game does decide to tap out. GG, well played by Matrius here. Making the Poseidon work on Anatolia. Now, I, I did mention this at the start, but I mean, like, Poseidon's a good god to pick. Uh, but I feel like the uh, the big mistake here from chemo and this might just be chalked up to the fact that like you don't get put into this position very often um isis is not a god that i, I don't think isis is a god that chemo picks um so when he plays it in a tournament when the game is pre-selected i think anatolia was pre-selected or, or something like that you don't get put into these positions very often but um the, the, the real key here and the reason that ISIS is so obnoxiously strong is the Ancestors Eclipse on the economy nice and early because um, that allows you to set up the complete map control to get four town centers uh, and get gold control. And if you get gold control, you get town center control, you win the game. And that's kind of why ISIS is so strong. But Matrius, I mean, sorry, Kimo didn't go for that and instead opted for uh, a more boomy style allowing Matrius to get this town center. I think Matrius snuck this very, very nicely in the end. Uh, but um, Kimo almost managed to make it work here, but Matrius just building spam everywhere, showing uh, the Poseidon 
uh, ob- not the obnoxiousness of Poseidon um, just making stables everywhere uh, and just running around with those Hataroi causing chaos. And, and Kima just could not keep up. It is really hard without Horus. If you have Horus, then you can you can at least um, make those Horus spearmen. And then you have to deal with Colossus, but at least you have Nephthys with the funeral rites. So the, the Pharaoh can do uh, a decent amount of damage um, to the, the Colossus. Um, in the end, the Matrix does win. He's gone up two to zero in this best of five for the this uh, this finals here. Uh, very surprised, though, honestly. I, I I kind of was expecting to see a a five game series. Uh, but we'll move on to game number three. Maybe we will see a five game series in the end. But uh, a reverse sweep for for Chemo maybe incoming. We'll uh, move on to that one very very soon. If you guys are enjoying these games, please consider hitting the follow on Twitch if you're on the YouTube's. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.